this is the Wii Boy Color. It's a fully portable Nintendo Wii, designed to fit the form factor of a Game Boy Color as closely as possible. Despite its small size, it's a fully fleshed out device with a full feature set, rather than just a novelty. This tiny portable actually houses a real Nintendo Wii that has been cut down to the bare minimum in order for it to fit in this case. The Wii is a fantastic system to have portable due to the vast libraries of games it can play. Wii games obviously run perfectly, and since the Wii is backwards compatible with GameCube games, this portable functions as a fantastic GameCube portable as well. The Wii's virtual console allows for many popular retro titles to be played, and homebrew emulators allow for even more games from other consoles to be enjoyed on this tiny device. Making a portable Wii this small is possible because the Wii motherboard can actually be trimmed very small. Some relocations are required to restore full functionality, but by hacking the software of the Wii to remove the need for the disk drive, a board this small becomes very possible. The rest of the parts for the build are sourced from a variety of locations. The screen is meant to be used as a car backup camera, the case is 3D printed, and so on. All of these components are combined with custom circuit boards of my own design to create a complex assembly that allows so many great games to be played anywhere you'd like. On the front of the system, there's a 3.5 inch 480p IPS screen which allows these games to look better than they ever have before. The controls on the front of the system are a combination of DS Lite buttons and Nintendo Switch joysticks. The actual controller circuitry inside of the portable is a GameCube controller, rather than a Wii remote. For playing the Wii games, software hacks are used to allow the GameCube controls to act like Wii remote controls, including simulating the shaking needed for many Wii games. It's not a perfect workaround, but more and more features are being added to this hack through updates. The front also has a single speaker, as unfortunately, there just wasn't space for two in this build. The back of the portable has the fan intake, as well as two triggers and Z buttons. The side of the portable has the power button and two additional buttons to control the volume. And lastly, the top of the portable has two ports and an LED. The port on the right is a simple headphone jack, which provides beautiful audio without any clunky adapters. The LED is used to indicate the battery level and charging status of the system. And the USB-C port is used for both charging and data transfer. By plugging the portable into my computer, I can easily add more games to the portable via a USB stick hidden inside of the portable. Games run off of the USB rather than physical disks because, well, yeah. I can also plug the portable into another Wii, which allows me to play my games and continue my saves on a big screen with more standard controls. While this may not be as cool as direct video out on my portable, it works just as well. The last major advantage of USB-C charging is the ability to use portable battery banks to power the device if I need more battery life. The portable gets between 2 and 3 hours of battery life all on its own. With a beefy charging bank, I can easily tack on another 4 hours of playtime. And of course, to suit its name, this portable has the same maximum dimensions as a real Game Boy Color, if you don't count the triggers. I opted to 3D print the case rather than try to transform an original Game Boy Color shell for a couple of reasons. First, I wanted the ability to have screw posts wherever I wanted, in order to make mounting everything a simple process. This also made removing sections of circuitry a lot easier during the troubleshooting process. 3D printing the case also allowed me to make some tweaks to the shape of the back of the shell, in order to accommodate batteries with a little bit more oomph than AA's can provide. And lastly, designing my own case allowed me to easily test assemblies as I went, rather than cutting up a single case and praying for the best. Overall, I'm really pleased with how this portable turned out. It's quite comfortable to hold and use despite its size, and I packed in enough features to turn it into a complete product. After closing this one up, I've got a few minor tweaks I'd like to make before selling these, but if you have interest in making a purchase on a Wii Boy Color or another portable design of mine, then feel free to message me through Instagram, Twitter, email, Carrier Pterodactyl, or Discord. Due to the intensive labor involved and the high cost of parts, I do have to sell these at a premium. If you just want to see sneak peeks of upcoming projects and the cool commissions I do for cool people, then feel free to just follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I've got more projects I plan to make videos on, so if you'd like to see more videos of my projects, then be sure to hit the... Oh, hang on. Yep, I'm a failure. Don't hit any buttons. Thanks for watching. I won't see you next time.